Shalom friends, and welcome to the Refuge Podcast, where we cultivate our faith in the shelter of God's word. I'm your host, Jennifer Elwood. For the past 12 years, from December 1st to the 24th, I've read the Gospel of Luke a chapter a day, and it's been life-changing. In the past, I permitted all the stress to provoke me during the holidays, but determined that this practice permeates peace into the Christmas season. And every year, I'm determined to bring more people, just like you, with me on this biblical journey. For the first season of this podcast, we will count up to Christmas through the Gospel of Luke together and open and receive gifts from Scripture to prepare our hearts for a peace-filled Christmas with some help from my friends. Today, we are going to open and receive the gift of prayer. Day one, the first day of the Refuge podcast. Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> and our portion of Scripture is Luke 1, 10 in the ESV translation. And the whole multitude of the people were praying outside at the hour of incense. Our guest, Amy Earls, recently launched a prayer-focused podcast called Fly by Faith, a place where teens are encouraged to live by faith, not fear. She is the author of Behind Walls, a short prequel to her upcoming YA fiction series, beginning with The Feather Who Crumbled the Wall, kind of both obsessed with the whole feather thing, just so you know. <laughs> I can't wait to hear what she has to say about our first gift from scripture this month, the gift of prayer. Welcome to the show, friend. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to be here. Me too. So let's get a little bit holly jolly and focus in on the holiday season and tell me about your favorite Christmas tradition. Well, the first thing that came to my mind is that I love receiving gifts and Mm -hmm. I know that it's supposed to be about giving gifts, but I am kind of selfish in that way. And I really like, <laughs> I really like opening gifts for myself, but the thing is I'm also very particular. So I like things that came from my wish list from Amazon type of thing. So <laughs> I love the same way I like to be able to pick out gifts for my kids and my family and know what they like and all of that. I also like to receive the right gifts. And, uh, so I make sure to tell my husband, I really like this specific thing (laughs) because otherwise it goes all wrong. (laughs) Um, there is no time and money to receive things that you're like, Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, there's the occasional crafty thing that my kids will bring to me. And I'm like, oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Yeah. I'll hang it on my wall and then take it down in a month. <laughs> <laughs> you know, another neat thing that we, my family just started last year was a countdown, actually 12 days of Christmas before the, before Christmas, we started a tradition where we uh, did something different every day. So we made goodie bags for the homeless uh, oh. and, and my kids wrote little notes for them and put them inside. And then we did like the secret Santa kind of thing where we dropped a little gift off at a friend's house and the ran away. And then we made gingerbread houses and, uh, oh. had like a Christmas movie and invited a friend over and had a time of praying for each other and writing letters to each oh. other. Uh, it was super special. So we're planning on doing that again this year and having lots of fun with that. And that is where maybe I'm a little bit more giving and less <laughs> selfish. <laughs> well, you know, it's not, it's like Christmas isn't really one day. Like it's really like right. almost an entire month of isn't like it? Thanksgiving finishes and we are in it, right? That's right. Yeah. So um, as I wrote my book, Counting Up to Christmas, which is um, it's anniversary is actually Halloween, which is kind of (laughs) funny. Um, I I started discerning what gift would be open each day of the month. And of all things in Luke one, which is a really dense chapter with lots of amazing things. It was the presence of prayer that took me by surprise, realizing how many people were outside the temple praying when Zechariah received the angelic visit, announcing the birth of his son, John the forerunner of Jesus was astounding to me. And I'm sure you didn't start a podcast centered on prayer by accident. So could you tell us how God has opened the gift of prayer in your life? I love that question so much. And I don't have time to really (laughs) unpack all of it because the truth is it is a lifelong story. It is a lifelong (laughs) response. And, you know, I, I remember as a little girl, I was five years old 
And I remember kneeling in, in front of my, my little wooden rocking chair and I was singing to God, uh, some worship songs to God. And mm -hmm. I was crying because mm -hmm. I was so moved by how much God loved me, how much I loved him. And that's, that's the memory I hold on to so many times because, you know, even my, my name, Amy means cherished one. Mm -hmm. And, and it's just one of those things that I hold on to that, that love that God has for me. And I, I believe we all have that kind mm -hmm. of banner for our life, just what, what God names us. And, uh, I remember just having that heart of worship continuing throughout my childhood. I remember distinctly one time my friends decided they didn't want to worship uh, at church on Sunday. And I decided in my heart that I was going to do it anyway, no matter what yeah. they thought. And it was a big deal to me. I remember that moment. I remember that time of just, you know, our, our church was expressive in worship. And so I lifted up my hands and that's how I mm -hmm. wanted to worship Jesus. And I just felt such a freedom. Like I just felt mm -hmm. such a release of, of Jesus continuing to minister to me, speak to me. And it was an ongoing conversation. It wasn't just a one time I prayed to have Jesus in my heart. And now all of a sudden I have this gift of prayer. It was a process of God growing me up in him mm. as he, as I sought him and he continued to speak to me. And you know, when I was, I remember when I was 11 years old, I received a word from God for my friend. It was like a word of knowledge of something mm -hmm. she was going through. And I just went up to her at youth group and I said, I'd like to pray for you. And I just felt like I had this prayer to pray for her. And later on her, her mom asked my mom, how did Amy know everything that she was going through? I, I didn't think anybody told her Wow. and, and my mom said she didn't. And so uh, that was just even another start of God gives gifts to us just yes. as we seek him. And it's not by what we do. Like you said, in that question, I love that question because it's a gift from God. It's it, prayer mm -hmm. is a gift from God, but we are the ones who receive it. And we, mm -hmm. we bring back that praise to him. We, we respond, he gives, we respond. And, and that's a continual that's a continual thing. It's a lifelong thing. Uh, and there, you know, it wasn't always perfect for me. There were times in my life where I, you know, I went through depression for a time when I was having kids and went through my chronic illness of uh, just developing food intolerances and getting sick continually. Mm -hmm. And I just was in a state of depression and it was hard to pray. It was hard mm -hmm. to want to pray. And I just felt like I, I was so thankful for that foundation because there were times when I just needed to rely on resting in the arms of Jesus, just resting mm -hmm. there, being like, like you love that, that feather term being yeah. under his wing, you know, resting yeah. under his wing and, and, and there it's not always perfect. There are times when I don't know what to pray, but I I've even been reading in first Corinthians lately. And I've been so struck with the fact that Jesus is all we need, that mm. it, it goes back to the cross and Jesus Christ. And that's, that's all we need to, all we need to look to is Jesus. And, you know, all of that, God carries us through everything else. And we just, we turn to him again and again and again. Mm. So yeah, there's that grace. There's that uh, trust and just, just believing God for big things. That's, that's the gift. Mm, I love that. And I, no wonder prayer resonates with you so much as someone that loves to receive gifts, <laughs> like one of the Good most point. beautiful gifts that you can receive from our heavenly father. And yeah, I absolutely love that. So um, for someone who is struggling to receive the gift of prayer, I mean, you kind of touched on it a little bit, but what, what piece of advice would you have for them? I think of Mary in mm -hmm. Luke one, who, mm -hmm. when the angel came to her and told her that she was pregnant with the Messiah, <laughs> she heard it with her head, right? Yep. But then she responded with her heart. 
And Mm -hmm. she, you know, she, she worshiped. (laughs) That was her response was worship. And I, I'm a musical person. I love to sing. I always have, Mm -hmm. it's, it's a big part of me and not everybody sings. And I get that. Not everybody's musically inclined. I know you're musically inclined too. (laughs) Uh, but I, I just, um, I just know that that heart of, of worship, I'd say, just hold on to that. If there's nothing else, just praise Jesus. Just, just worship him. Just read the Psalms, sing the Psalms, Mm -hmm. write the Psalms down or however you would like to express that worship, uh, declare God's goodness and God's going to speak to you. You know, Mm -hmm. even if all you do is keep on praising him, you know, it's enough. And I'd say too, that prayer isn't about speaking the best and the biggest words. It's Mm -hmm. not about a big vocabulary. You know, Jesus didn't encourage that. It's about our hearts and our lives being cast before a a great and wonderful Lord, you know, a mighty Lord. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I guarantee that as we come before Jesus that he's going to increase our prayer life. He's going to expand mm-hmm. our prayer life when it's focused on prayers of praising him and response mm-hmm. to him rather than what we want him to do for us. <sighs> Absolutely. Amy, thank you so much. You opened this gift just perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> so where can people find you if they'd like to follow your uh, feather filled adventures? Yeah, you can find me at amyearls.com and I have a podcast there for teens and and the um all of the fun things you can explore in my my book. And I'd love to most importantly just connect with you if it's through prayer, if it's uh just sending me an email. I love to connect to other other people. So you can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at author Amy Earls. Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed the first ever episode of the Refuge Podcast. I'd like to encourage you to begin the month of Christmas opening and receiving the gift of prayer every single day. And may this be the season that we believe in God for big things. My prayer for you is that the peace of Christ will rule in your hearts as we count up to Christmas together. Thanks again to Amy Earls who helped us open the gift of prayer. You can find her at amyearls.com and her bio and links are in the show notes. And if you'd like to connect with me, head over to jenniferelwood.com. You've been listening to the Refuge Podcast with Jennifer Elwood, where we cultivate our faith in the shelter of God's word 